Hello everyone, this is Garrett, and this is Barbie Groom and Glam Pops. Now off screen, I trained my dogs to the maximum level, only requiring to give this one last treat. So this last and final dog will be leveled up to the max. Now, I'm sure well, with the other dogs something happened like, um, you have trained all the tricks to the max, yeah, and it unlocked absolutely nothing. But when I do it with this last dog, I am absolutely positively sure that I will get amazing things like fireworks and magic and actual gameplay and all sorts of amazing stuff and not just a generic message. So let's see what we get and be absolutely surprised at the amazingness that is unlocking the final tricks for the last dog thing. Yeah, and I'm sure it would be disappointing. Oh yeah, here we go. Congratulations, Panis has mastered every trick. It would appear that's it. Barbie! Right, anyway, um... After that absolutely not <coughs> disappointing thing, I believe there's still a couple of things I haven't shown. Like, well, dance left and dance right are, as expected, exactly the bloody same. I don't actually remember if I turn, if I show turn around yet, actually, so I might as well do this one real quickly. As you see, it is pretty much exactly the same as turn left and turn right, only with a little hop. Absolutely amazing. And I believe that's actually the dog-specific trick for this dog, which is absolutely fan bloody fantastic indeed. Uh, don't think I've not- oh, no, wait, there's a couple here, actually. First of all, good night. Oh yeah, this- this is the best trick ever. Remember sleep? Well, this is different by being exactly the same. Oh my goodness, yes. This truly is the best game ever once you have recycled this many different things. Let's see. Balance, I think I've shown balance. Actually, no, I don't think I've shown- I'm so confused right now, I might as well just show everything, but I won't because I am way too lazy. Yeah. Lifts one leg, well, her front leg, and one of her back legs, and yeah. That's a trick, apparently. Yeah. Uh, that's the wrong one. Curtsy. Now, for those of you who know what a curtsy is, you may think, hey, how would a dog do a curtsy? Well, the answer is pretty much as expected when you've played this game for a while. It's just hide again. It is exactly the bloody same once again. Fantastic, this game is amazing. So glad I have this. And Play Dead, which is probably one of the few proper dog tricks in the game. And actually looks kind of awesome. Nice little sound effect that goes with it where it just kind of flops on the floor. Oh my goodness, yes. And from the skills, uh, no, 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 no. <coughs> Hell, drum. <laughs> yeah, drum. drum. Drum is absolutely amazing as well. Great. For once, it's not a recycle Great. trick, though. But comes with its own little sound effect of drumming. As dogs often do. I, 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 I would like to teach a dog how to drum. I don't remember if I showed spin left. So, I might as well show it. Now, there's one dog that actually gets spin right as its dog-specific trick because this game is amazing. Yeah, they, they, they really put effort in that one. It, it definitely makes, um... Whatever it was, I don't remember even remember what it was, but it makes the backflip and the handstand definitely seem pretty easy. Oh my, yes. Definitely. And there's basically one more dog-specific trick. I haven't shown, so I guess that is exactly what we're going to do now. But first of all, you may notice that my dog is wearing a top hat, and that's because this game has top hats apparently. And that top hat was actually unlocked with that secret gift code thing that's only available on answers.com for some reason of all places where you could find things for a video game. And I think I may have found the reason why the top hat is only available through a secret code. And I think once you see it, it'll become pretty obvious. Because I believe they were trying to hide one minor detail. Poodle. This is the poodle with the top hat and the thing. Now, let's take this dog with the top hat. Yeah, 
Apparently this dog is psychic and is able to make the hat float slightly above her head. Yeah, I don't know either. I think it's absolutely amazing. But anyway, that's not what we're going to see. We are coming to see Kuel, who has a amazing dog-specific trick. I don't even remember what it is. It's that amazing. But I don't think I've actually shown this dog off before. Also unlocked a whole bunch of grooming tools and do to absolutely bloody nothing. Because this game is the best game ever made. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone who lives ever. Yes. I, I will definitely recommend this game to everyone. Welcome to the tip Because this is such a good game. And I don't... Oh, no. Wait, this is going to get stop, step back. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Fantastic. It walks backwards. And then it walks forward again. Best trick in the world. Yeah. I suppose it's still better than that love you thing, which was also dog specific, by the way. The love you was a dog specific trick where one dog just goes bark, bark, and that's the entire bloody thing. So yeah, let's go to the boutique to show off some nice costume for our pooch. That look totally fab glam tastic. <laughs> that is exactly what we're going to do. I'm not going to show off all the shirts because if I do that, we'd still be here for the next few days. Really, I I, I think off screen I may have done like 50 dance events in a row, which by the way doesn't change your happiness level at all. Even though what's her face said it would. So just do like 200 of those and you should have unlocked pretty much everything. This was another one of those uh, things that came with a secret code and it once again doesn't look quite right for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but it still looks better than having bunny ears, I suppose, or a Homestar Runner hat. But nothing really beats Rainbow Afro. Yeah, this game has a Rainbow Afro. That is pretty much the most amazing thing in this game. <laughs> All the other costumes are just absolutely gaudy and terrible, basically. Gaudy and terrible. Oh, but doesn't this look cute? Look, her ears clip through the costume. Absolutely bloody amazing. And there's a crown. So crown is wearing crown. Fantastic. Now, the collars are absolutely amazing because, um, yeah, with pretty much every dog, you can barely see them. So, yeah, not really much point in going through all of those because they're pretty much all exactly the same, but a different color. And here's, of course, rainbow colored glasses. That go with a rainbow colored afro if you had one. For some reason, one with weird cat eye things, which seems slightly out of place for some reason, but there you go. Everything is out of place in this game. Now, count the shirts. One page. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen pages of bloody shirts that all look almost exactly the same. Because you can't see them from a different, good, well, a good enough angle, really. You can't, you can't zoom in, because this game is awesome like that. This one just has paw prints. Why would a dog have paw prints? It already has paws. Nah. And this one is just the same one with different colors, just the paw prints again. There's just so much recycling in this game. It's absolutely unbelievable. Check out all these accessories just for tail. And of course, the tail accessories. I believe there was one actually I unlocked with another one of those gift codes. Uh, not really sure which one it was. I think it was this one, actually. Which, um, as you may have noticed, looks slightly like this one. Oh my god, it's like just a color change. Absolutely amazing, guys. You put work in that one. Now, the costumes are probably the best part of this game. Because you have a ladybug. But you can't wear the rainbow afro with this, which is very saddening indeed. This is just painful, really. This is just wrong on every single level of anything. I think this is supposed to be a butterfly, I don't know. Once again, not really sure what this is at all. Dressed up as a bee, because why would you want to dress up as a bee? And a halo with little sticks to hold the halo, because it's not an angelic dog. It's just a dog with sticks on its head. Nice. This thing, which I'm not even going to comment on, and of course the top hat. Which sadly doesn't float on this dog, but, well, it's it kind of does, slightly, but not nearly as much as on the other dog, sadly. And, uh, you know what? I think, at this point, we have actually seen everything the game has to offer. So let's just go to the credits now, shall we? No 
Because this game has credits. With the loading screen before the credits. Oh, not a very long loading screen. Oh my god, dog barking. So yeah, that was Barbie Groom and Glam Pops. Doesn't really have an ending, but this is probably the closest thing it's gonna get because I've done everything you can possibly do. Would I recommend this game even to children? No, not even as a children's game. This is very good, and for one simple reason. Anyone, well, any child that's going to be at all interested in playing this is either going to be interested in the Barbie part or the part where you get to dress up a dog. Well, Barbie is just talking during the entire game. She's just kind of there, you can't do anything with her. And dressing up the dog is possible, but you, it takes literally about 20 hours of doing the exact same thing before you've actually unlocked everything. I don't think there are any children that are willing to do the same thing for 20 hours. I can't... I can barely believe I've done this for 20 hours and that's... Well, let's be face it, I only did this because someone bought it for me. Thanks again, by the way, I love you too. And, um... Yeah. The only really redeeming part of this game is probably the music. The music's actually not bad. But... Uh, that it, there is just so much... Awfulness. Uh, uh, you can just- we can't actually just unlock everything with the dance event, so you can't just click that over and over and over and just walk away from the computer like I did, or just watch a movie while doing this, like I did as well, because, well, let's face it, I spent way too much time on this, and, yeah, really not worth your time. The shirts all look almost exactly the same, the costumes are the only thing that look slightly different, the gift codes, I have no idea where they come from. I can't find any source of them. I just I could just find how to get them, basically. So, yeah, not not really anything about that in the manual or anywhere else that I could find. So, really not sure what that's all about. I have no idea why there's so many people that worked on this. Why does this many testers? And how did no one notice the floating bloody top hat? That's pretty friggin' noticeable, if you ask me. Uh, but, you know, that's just, um, that's just my take on the entire thing. All in all, you know, let's just make a nice top five Barbie game so far. On number five, we have Barbie Horse Adventures Mystery Ride. It was rubbish. On number four, we, oh, uh, loading screen, what? I don't even know. Anyway, on number four, there's Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus. And I guess it just leaves the credits after a while, that's uh, fantastic. Let's go back to the credits because it has considerably better music. But um, yeah, not number four, Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus. Mostly because it's exactly the same game as Barbie and the Ma or Barbie Mystery Ride, whatever. Only with better music and that's pretty much the reason why it's at number four. Number three! Um... I don't know actually, I'm, I think I'll go for Secret Agent Barbie. Because, no, no, I, uh, number three will be Barbie and the As the Island Princess. I believe that's the name of the game. Because that game had a very large amount of mini games and they actually had remote replay value, very much compared to this. Number two, Secret Agent Barbie, because it looked the most like a game. But number one, the best Barbie game so far is. Uh, Barbie and the Three Musketeers. This game is crap, and Barbie and the Three Musketeers is just a generic 2D platformer, which is actually not bad. And I might actually record it, but I'm not I'm not really sure how, because yeah, it's actually kind of fun. So yeah. That 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 that, that would just be going against the Barbie tradition of oh my god, this stuff is horrible. All in all, I give this game an 8 out of 10 because it has a rainbow colored afro. I hope you have enjoyed it so far, and I hope to see you for games that aren't this. And bye bye.